Got my peeps on back, and unfortunately my, my phone is running out of gas, so I have this uh, thing for my last car. That's a pretty good piece, but it doesn't charge. This is a uh, Shkoshi, Shoshi uh, power join. There's also one here in my crowded, yeah, I mean, right there. Can you see it? Right there, but... I'm going to put it in this guy. There may be a little bit more power. So we're going to start the car up. Foot on the brake. Press the button. Okay? All right, so I'm back. Part two. Had to run. Take care of some quick business real quick. All right, so where we were at, I think, was... I kind of forgot where we're at. I didn't even look to see where we're at. I think the sport mode and the echo mode and so on and so forth. I'm telling you about the comfort mode. Um, let me take the brake off. So uh, the comfort mode, like I said, it didn't really do anything. It kind of was normal, but it was better than the Eco Pro mode. And in comfort mode also, if you stop at a light and this is not engaged or it's disengaged, however you do it, it's going to stop. All right. So I just did that when I just did that. All right, so we're going to bag it up. You can hear the whine in the turbo, man. It's unbelievable in this car. You can hear the turbo whine, even backwards. This twin turbo, this is my first twin turbo because my diesel didn't have twin turbo. Uh, it just had uh, diesel. I don't even think the engine was a turbo at all. So hearing this turbo whine is new to me. Where the other people, you know, they, they've checked it out and everything. All right, so basically now you can go to sport. Sport is fast. That's all I gotta say. It feels like it lowers the suspension. Everything is tight and you can feel more bumps. Now, this car comes with run flats. In fact, all BMW cars that I know of, maybe except the electric car, come with run flats. So basically you can feel every bump. I think it has to lower the suspension or something. Again, I haven't read this. I'm doing this just like you bought this car. I'm doing it just like I bought this car. I haven't read the book or nothing, so I don't know anything about the suspension, what happens in sport mode, whatever. I'm just telling you what I feel, like when I'm doing the fragrances. I'm telling you how I smell. I can't tell you all how they did the notes and how they blended it and blah, 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 blah. How it feels on me, though, I can tell you that, bars. Okay? So now I put it, and then you can also go, that's taking the traction control off. If you go to sport plus mode, automatically takes the traction control off. Now... You get no traction, but when I guess because it disengages the traction, now the engine is free to just go whack bananas. I'm telling you, man, straight up. Yesterday, I was rocking out at 70. Anytime I reached down, I was good. Wink, wink. When I was going 70. Wink, wink. Anytime I went for the gas in Sport and Sport Plus, it was plenty. I mean, plenty. So, man, this, this thing is really, really fast. And it's only a two liter, 241 rated horsepower. I don't know the torque. Torque is probably around 200 torque as well, pound foot. But, man, I'm telling you, in Sport mode and Sport Plus, it's a wrap. Um... Now, of course, that's a wrap if I'm getting down with regular cars. Now I'm just going to drive up. But I can explain most of the car um, aside from that. I just want y'all to see that Sport Mode and Sport Plus. I'm not going to do anything when you're driving this slow. You only can feel it when you get ready to holler at your boy. But, you know, like I said, two, two, two liter, the twin turbo makes a difference. Even though when I had the five and it was, it was diesel, you got the torque because it was a diesel. That was hot too. Feeling and feeling the, the, the difference between the two, of course, would be the weight of the car. You know what I mean? The X5 is 9,000 pounds. But that diesel carried it like it was carrying a truck with some Walmart trailers. You feel me? All right, so that joint was banging. So this car is the same. It's a lot lighter. But now you only have a two-point lead, two-liter engine. But yet again, you got twin turbo. So what I'm trying to say is it feels just about the same to me than it felt in the uh, diesel with the X5. I'm telling you. But this is faster because it's lighter. I don't know if I, when I was on the expressway yesterday, or the turnpike, I don't know if I would have went for 
for for the juice at the speed I was going for. I don't know if it really would have reacted as fast as car reacts. It might be some lag time. I'm not sure, but for the most part, I don't feel too much of a difference between the two, except in the lightness of the car. So, or the weight of the car. All right. So let's continue on. Let's go. From there, all right, we Echo Sport. Let's try to stay in the same thing. I don't want to deal with this too much because this is really, it's not complicated, but there's a lot to deal with. And I don't have to keep doing this. Every time I touch a button, I'll be doing this. But I will, okay, this is what I want to do. Anybody wants to the radio when they get in the car or whatever or a CD? If you want to the radio, you press radio. Simple as that. And once you get used to this, you know, you just, you know, you know what to press. Now, I, you know, I've been on these for a while now, so I know, you know, whatever. See how this says sport right there? I don't know why with the sport, but now with the radio. But anyway, you can configure how you set up your sports, I guess, your sports suspension. We might as well do it. Might as well do it. Let's go vehicle settings. And let's go to uh, speed. No, speed, you can set the speed how you want it. I mean, when you want it to alert you, like if you're going 80, then it'll go bing. And you'll get indication on the, on the uh, on the console as to how how fast you're going, and it'll show you. It'll also show you the miles per hour in the area. <laughs> All right. So driving mode. It says configure Eco Sport. Press that. And there you go. If you want classic, you press classic. Now actually, it just cut the car off when I did that. It says chassis. All right. So. Then we had drive train the chassis. Now, when I did that, it turned the car back on. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. All right, let's do it again. All right, chassis. Drive train. Drive train and chassis. So I guess to configure, it configures itself. That was deep. How I cut the car off and cut it back on. All right, configure. Eco Pro. Press it. Okay. So it tells you Eco Pro speed warning. And there it says tip at 75. So you press that, I guess, and you can set it. I'm going to set it to 80. Then enter it. Okay. Eco Pro climate control and coasting. All right. From what I understand, here's the potential of, I guess, the mileage you're going to save or whatever. But from what I understand, the tip at 80, 80 maybe. Probably meaning that it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna do what it do to get 80, then you just ain't gonna save any gas or whatever. I'll, I'm not sure. Climate control. What I think it does is someone says said that when you um when you configure that Eco Pro it'll turn down it'll turn down the climate control so it's not banging out hard. Even if you have it up high, it'll adjust it so it's cutting down on the energy it takes for that. And something about if you take your foot off, like if I take my foot off the gas, it'll just coast. Now, every car does that, but I guess this will coast with, with power still applied. So you could be doing like, say, 80, and all of a sudden you just take your foot off the gas, it'll just start coasting in a way that's not using gas, I guess. Okay? Got me? Y'all feeling me? BMW, baby. BMW. Because they got that eye car. They know what it is about saving gas. They, they got an electric car. So they should know what it is about saving gas and all that. Holler at your boy. You know, uh, technology. All right? We're going to come out by going to the left. So we have driving mode info to tell you on your dashboard what you're doing. Okay, lift gate. I can adjust how high I want the lift gate to go. See, opening height. So if I press it, I can have it. That'll be what it goes to if I select it there. And this is kick under the boot. So if you just kick under the boot or the trunk, it'll lift the all automatically, or the lights will flash, it'll open up the trunk. That height, that height, you're just the height. And that's it. So I like mine about right there. I don't want it going too high because I don't want to hit nothing. Set it and forget it. Move to the left. And now we're back to the next whatever we want to uh, do. It says profile. I guess I can set a profile like if two people was using the car, I guess. You know what I mean? So here it says check. So maybe I can put my name in here. I don't know. It says export import. I don't know. Check. There. What to do that there? Okay. What it say? 
change profile, caution, seats may move, only select the park. I don't want to do that. I like it the way it is. Leave profile alone. Guess, it says guess. Change profile, see, no, we're not going to change anything. I got to figure out how that's going to work later. I got to turn this heat down too, like even off. Turn it off, I just turned it off. Okay. Okay, got you. All right, we're going to go to the left on the I drive and we're going to go up. Frontal collision warning, which is really, really cool. If you're going too fast behind a car, the wheel will shake. Crazy. I'll show you some another setting that the wheel will shake too um, in the lane. So you set it for early, medium, or late. So if you go up on the car, you're rolling out and you start tailgating, the wheel will shake. Brrr, it'll vibrate, let you know, stop. Stop doing that. Food before you have a dog on accident. Bars. All right. Door and key. So basically, when you with this door, like like my other car, the X5, I can open all the doors from any door, whether it was back the back doors, uh, passenger and uh, passenger doors, or the front. On this car, there's only there's only two. It's comfort, part of comfort access. So what this is saying is. When I touch, all you gotta do is touch the car handle. When I touch the car handle, there's no buttons to push. You just touch the car handle. Go by heat. So I don't have cold hands, maybe, I don't know. It says all doors. So when I touch it, bam, the doors are open. All of them. Or I can do it just to probably open the front door. See, it says driver door only or all doors. I selected all doors. Tailgating doors, let's see what that says. I even check that out. Okay, tailgate. No, I don't want that to open tailgate and doors. So, yeah, it is checked. Tailgate and doors. Okay. All right. So, but it won't open the tailgate. As it says tailgate and doors, I guess. So, I can just, the key button. Okay, for the key button. Right. Is that me know that the key button settings for the remote and everything will activate all of these. As well as my hands. Doors and keys. It'll automatically, uh, last seat position automatically. It'll set it right back up. If no door is open, it'll lock it. And so on and so forth. Like my other car, also, if the mirrors were in, if you start driving at a certain speed, the mirrors will come out. So if you forget, they'll come out. Driving mode. We already did that. Configure the sport and all that stuff. Lighting. Inside this car, there's ambient lighting. Let's see if you can see it here. I don't know if you can see it. See it? That's ambient lighting. You see it runs underneath here. BMW, baby. That's how I do. So at night, it looks so beautiful, man. Those are LEDs under there. So if I want to change this, it's classic. So I'm going to change it from classic to mode sport. And now we got white lights, okay? Now, if I go to brightness, you can set the brightness, as you can see. Bam, 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 open it up. Okay, next it says exterior lighting and pathway lighting. I have that set to 60 seconds which means the lights will stay on at least till 60 seconds before they go out or something, I guess. I don't know, I never I never understood how that worked. I'm gonna read it up one, maybe one day. Triple turn signal means that um, my man was like, yo man, it don't last long at all. Well, it's not. Once you hit your little tip array turn signal, you hit it up, it just goes three. That's it, could you just change your lanes? You ain't trying to click it all the way up if you click it all the way up, it's going to keep on y'all meaning. But if you're just rolling and you're just changing lane, just tap it. Just tap it up. And it'll click three times. That's all you need. How many clicks you need to change the lane? That's it. Three. Bam. Change the lane. Stop waiting. Daytime running lamps, they are on. And welcome lights, that means the welcome lights, I guess, in the car will come on. All right? Climate control. This is just for the timer. So you can activate two timers on so the summertime. You just want some ventilation. It won't activate the air conditioner or anything like that. But you can set the ventilation. So, and it'll come on. She says, come on ventilation. It'll come on. Like say it says 12 o'clock. So you got the car at 12 o'clock. You think you'll be in there a half hour? You'll set it to come on, say at 12, 15. So then by the time you get back in the car, then the air is on, so that's 12, 15, and once you set it, it's done. Activate timer one. 
All right. Now, I don't know why the activated comfort ventilation is not checked. I have no idea. Maybe that's another option I don't have. Maybe there's something I haven't read up on because it wasn't. I didn't read up on it. But that's how you can activate a couple timers to come on. So if it's too hot, you got your window down a little bit. You can get some ventilation in here from the car, from the vents. And if your windows are down, you get some ventilation as well. All right. And now let's come out of that. Next we have speed, and again, that's when you can have the car, it'll give you a warning, and mine is set to 80. Once I get to 80, bing, 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 and it'll stop. Current speed, that means whatever speed I'm going right now. So if you're on a fly, and you go right here, and you're like, all right, instead of turning the wheel, like to select how fast you want to go, you might be on a road where it's like 100 mile an hour is the speed limit, you're doing 100, then you just press down on the iDrive wheel, and it'll select whatever you're doing at that time, and that'll be your speed warning. I wouldn't want to do it now because I wouldn't have a speed warning because I'm not moving. Coming out of that. Tone. You know I wasn't supposed to be up in here, but I might as well stay up in here. Treble, bass, fader, equalizer. This is a Harman Kardon sound surround logic, sound surround system. If I press that down, as you can see, you get all that. So I go to equalizer, and then you got equalizer. How's your boy? Well, let me set that back to where it was. And if you go over, it doesn't do anything. It's just split screen. You can delete data in that particular menu. You can also look at the owner's manual. And, and I can pretty much read it what I want to talk about. But that's the owner's manual for whatever you pick. That's what you do, okay? Or general information that you saw. I bet. So we are there. That's how you set the EQ. Volume setting is this. Speed control. Like, if you're driving, you know, sometimes you get a little extra cabin noise. This will bring the volume up. If it was all the way down or halfway, I don't think it does anything. But if you're driving, and all of a sudden, you know, you're just in the city now, you're on the highway, a little bit more cabin noise, the volume will automatically adjust. Your PVC is your backup. How loud you want that when you're backing up or for it on the sides of you. When you're using that rear... Um, you know, the backup overall view and here's your gong when you get in. I like my gong nice and low. Good. Telephone, you know, you can set that when you mess with the phone. I don't know what that is. Don't use it. Okay? Out of that. Out of that again. Connections. Bluetooth only. That's it. That's your connections. Press that. Connect your phone. Touchpad. Again.